Hi there, Simon Woods from the Fine Wine Network here. I've got a couple of champagnes in front of me from the a producer called Remy A. Pidonsat. Never heard of them? Uh, well, I'm not surprised if you haven't heard of them because um, I think that there's two families that join together. They've been growing grapes in Champagne for a long time and maybe uh, and producing a little bit of wine themselves, but they only joined forces in 2009, so a pretty new operation. And uh, so I've got a Brut from them and I've got a Rosé from them. Let's try the Brut. Well, we're in uh, the south of Champagne here, an area called the Aube, and uh, so it's uh, further south than, than the bulk of Champagne, and you tend to get warmer, rounder, richer styles of wine, and this feels like it's going to be one of them. Uh, so the, the fruit flavours here, maybe not the uh, citrus and uh, green apple that you'd get further north. Here it's red apple, and maybe verging on the, uh, a bit of the slightly more exotic things, like a bit of pineapple, maybe even a little, a, a touch of peach there. And there's this bready character as well, it feels like it's going to be warm, quite full-bodied, Champagne isn't normally full-bodied, but this feels like as champagne goes, it's about as full as it's going to get. Let's taste it. And it has got this warm, toasty, biscuity heart. Yes, there's the fruit there, uh, but um, it's the sort of champagne that... So, some champagnes are really nice just by themselves. This one has got quite a bit of guts and body. And uh, I'd sort of one I'd love to take on a picnic. And uh, yeah, because it would go... It'd be nice while you're sort of getting all your sarnies out and spreading them on your little tablecloth. Uh, but with the food, uh, it would go It would go really nicely. It's got a bit of punch. It's got a bit of power. So, yeah, don't be afraid to... Uh, Take that in with your first course and maybe even eat it, carry on eating it with uh, stuff like chicken or pork or turkey. Let's try the rosé. Well, again, this feels like it's going to be on the uh, richer, fuller style. Um, and the main grapes here will be Pinot Noir and uh, Pinot Meunier. Uh, now, Pinot Noir, main grape in, in red burgundy. And uh, you do get a little bit of that red uh, red burgundy, slightly earthy, dark fruit, uh, the, the red cherries and uh, the, the strawberries as well. Again, it feels like it's going to be on that full, throaty side. Let's taste it and find out. Yeah, rich, warm-hearted wine. And if I was going to have that with maybe chicken, this is, I'd almost want, like, want something like a cold roast beef sandwich with that. It's elegant is maybe not the word for it. There are more elegant champagnes. But in terms of depth of flavour and honest, rich, round, ruddy fruit, um, hard to beat. Uh, and again, as I was saying with this, by itself, maybe, but better with food. I would say the same with this. Uh, very happily drink that most lunchtime. So, I don't know drink most champagne most lunch times but this because of its depth and power and that red fruit richness I think it would be far more versatile than one of those champagnes that is really only good with seafood and uh, maybe the lightest of white meat dishes so nice pair of wines hope you enjoyed them as much as I did see you soon